One of the talented South African broadcasters has been snapped up by an international network, Russia Today Television. She has been in the media for the past seven years, and we are proud to say she started her career right here on Soweto TV in 2010. She then moved to the SABC, hosting Sunday Live on SABC One, a current affairs program. And later on the same year, she was recruited to be one of the anchors on the SABC 24-hour news channel. And then she's been host to a wide variety of shows and events. The most recent one, that's where I met her, being the Ubuntu Awards presented to the diplomatic corps and South African president and cabinet. And uh, it was great and fun. It was. Uh, to work with you. Absolutely, to it was, Fatim. And unfortunately for South Africa, she's now making a move to Berlin in Germany, where she's going to work as international news anchor and correspondent for Russia Today, popularly known as RT. Tumelo Mutotoane. Mr. Moody's. Pleasure to catch up with you again. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> you don't say anything or you're making a move and so on, and then there it is, everybody appreciating your work in Cape Town. Yeah. And you knew then that you were going to go? Absolutely. I knew from last year, September, okay. even when we met in Cape Town, yeah. we were hosting the Ubuntu Awards together, yeah. I knew that I was leaving. However, unfortunately, I couldn't say anything until you know the right time, which was the beginning of March. Well, let me compliment you. At least your feet were still firmly planted on the ground. <laughs> so it was not like you are flying you off. You know what, how these things work, right? right? You get a big opportunity around the world and mm. then uh, the head now goes right into the clouds. It happens. And then we can't even see your feet any longer. I think it's a matter of also counting your eggs and your chickens before they hatch. Yes. Yeah. But uh, good growth, I must say. Thank you so and much. Compliments to you. In seven years is relatively a short time. It is. For a young person like you. Absolutely. To be already taking on big global responsibilities like that. It is. So how did the break come about? Um, you know, it, it's, it's quite funny because I was in Cape Town yeah. when the opportunity presented itself. I was at the Cape Town ICC, the same venue we were at for the Ubuntu Awards, and I was emceeing the you know, SMME Opportunity Roadshow. Mm -hmm. It's a full day, you know, nine to five um, business seminar. And I received an email um, while I was there, and while I was actually emceeing that, uh, listen, this is the RT team. It comprised of the executive producer, the head of news, as well as, um, you know, the HR manager. We've been following you for a good three months. Mm -hmm. We've been communicating with some of our colleagues in Africa and South Africa, to be more specific, and we've been looking at your work because we wanted to see how consistent you were, yeah. if you were ready to actually even relocate to Europe or if you would make a good, um, you know, sort of addition to the family while based in Africa. Mm. So they decided, you know what, um, after seeing your work, we think that I uh, would like to talk to you in terms of coming to Europe. And that's I'm going to talk about the challenge of working for some of the big networks around yes. the world and of course the work of a news anchor and correspondent now that mm. you're going to be let's retrace your steps right back to where it started where i'm starting now <laughs> how <laughs> ironic is that how ironic is it but tim it was 2010 um exactly six years ago i remember nearly during the fifa world cup yeah. and i wanted so much to go to the fan parks but because i had a burning desire to be you know a, a tv presenter yes. i was still a second year student at wits university mm -hmm. then and i decided you know what people are relaxed everybody is watching football this is my time to actually look for opportunities yes. in media and amongst other so it tv were some of the you know channels that i sent my demo to my my CV, my pictures, and you know, coincidentally, they were looking for a presenter to be the new sisters presenter for the talk show, which is targeting at empowering young mm, women mm. in the community of Soweto. So I've been there for a good three years until 2013. Sure, and yeah. uh, but the desire to be on television was always there, or it was just with respect and opportunistic thing Not at all. during the World Cup? It's always been there. I remember growing up while I was still young, um, I used to lock the door, go lounging mm. during Christmas when the whole family was there. I would write Zama Zama Studios yes. and I would make my parents, my grandparents, my cousins pay the one renter yes. just to come in and see me yes. and presenting Zama Zama. Sometimes yeah. I'll be VMAJ presenting Jem yeah, Ellie, yeah, use my cousins yeah. as the contestants because I loved you know, presenting, I loved public speaking. Sure. So from a very young age, I knew that I wanted to be a presenter. But I think growing up, um, Bratim, I knew that I wanted to be a presenter of, you know, substance, so to say mm, uh, mm. the least. Um, I knew I wanted to be in talk 
talk show with the likes of Oprah and Dr. Phil and um, our very own, you know, talk show queen um, right here, um, Felicia Mabuza Sattel, also influencing me to mm. want to, you know, engage with South Africans about ordinary challenges. I knew that I definitely wanted to do something, you know, But you, you, then you went, to, you went to the SABC, right, yes. and dealt with real news, actuality, and current affairs. Right. And it's not a walk in the park, as you can tell from, you know, and how stressful would you say it is and the learning that's gone yeah. with working for the SABC, a big organization. That I can't is. stress that any further, uh, Britain, because when I started at the SABC, I was only 19 years, mm. turning 20. And I'm sure you do know that that news fraternity is mostly occupied by my elderly counterparts. Yes. More matured, uh, more experienced um, journalists with perhaps experience in you know, political analysis, uh, political studies, none of which I had, only mm. had my BA degree and Zoeto TV as my TV background. So definitely starting was a challenge because I think people thought, Mm, can we? This is a child. Was yes. she even born yes. during apartheid? Does yes. she know what she's talking about? <laughs> yeah, well, when she talks all. And you I know. tell you, when you do those types of <laughs> maturity, is one of the things yeah. that is expected from right. you. And who can teach you how to be mature, really? Because that's a self-developed thing. You've got to, yeah, so. Absolutely. And that's how I started. But, you know, I had to definitely earn uh, my stripes. Because yeah. remember Sunday Live is a current affairs program that took over from Asukulume, hosted mm. by the legendary Olani Gwala. Those were very big shoes to yes. fill from a time slot point of view, from a presenter's point of view. So for me coming there as a, as a, kid basically with no background in politics whatsoever at first viewers weren't so sure but i think you know as they warmed up to me yeah. and as i got to learn more about news and current affairs um we were just family no time well i told you a story earlier on i was thinking when i'm looking at your story thinking of uh, salailo salota you see yes. that probably <laughs> he had a person like you in mind when even though he was singing about himself <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so when you are in Berlin you'll be saying <laughs> <laughs> I think I should definitely take please the take a tape of that yeah, so that uh, you can motivate yourself and say <laughs> now I get it I mean your home base, much as you grew up in Soweto, is uh, Lubuakhomo. Is that it where is. you were born? Yeah. Absolutely. Lubuakhomo Zone A is yeah. where I was born. Okay. That is Lalo Soluto, also Mopedi. Okay. Um, so um, that's where I was basically born and bred, raised by my grandparents and my mom all the you know characteristics that I have of you know uh, just a young woman very determined to make a mark regardless of their background um, I think resembles you know everything that you know represents and you me. know in South Africa we're always proud when we see our young sisters and brothers make it to the top mm -hmm. and uh, it's an important milestone you know because I can imagine much as you're going to work for Russia TV yeah. that you are also gaining, you're going to gain experience yes. that will come back to South Africa at some point absolutely the responsibility of being a correspondent though sure. it's quite hectic it's hectic from uh, where I'm sitting looking at you know and thinking of people like Christian Amanpour yeah working for CNN yes you get uh, sent to cover assignments of wars of uh, diplomatic crisis of yeah. uh, uh, climate change, a whole range of topics, and you'll have to be on top of the game. Are you up to the challenge? You have to be up to I the have challenge. To, I have to be. I'm, I'm, I'm still young. I'm only yeah. 24 years old, yeah. um, but Tim, and I think one thing that I appreciate about this opportunity of being a correspondent is that it's not about getting airtime on television. Sure. It's about doing the groundwork so you are conversational um, in the topics that you tackle, that um, you have experience, you actually are engaging when you discuss these topics on you know, the show. So it's definitely out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Never reported a story in my life. Never been on the ground only have experience with being in front of the camera in anchoring news and conducting interviews so this is definitely you know one experience and challenge that I'm looking forward to to obviously you know grow my skills and what's uh, the DSTV channel that it'll be RTL? on 407 407 yes well we've got to mention it you see because we'll be looking for you for those who've <laughs> never watched the you'll RT find me. You'll so find they'll me. find you but the assignments have you been given a sense of which ones you're going to cover when you get to Berlin absolutely my very first assignment is the refugee crisis that's currently happening happening in Berlin, Germany. That's where I'll be based yeah. because I'll be going to Moscow for training for three months. Then end of June, I'll be, you know, relocating to Berlin where I'll be based. So I'll be looking at Angela Merkel's, you know, strife with, you know, some of the fascists there and how some Germans are actually, you know, threatening who's her. My, who's Angela off. Merkel? <laughs> This is the, this is the beauty of change. The I, I, I do. I'm just imagining that <laughs> somebody is listening and saying, this 24-year-old knows, knows Angela Merkel. You have to She's know. already on first name terms with Angela Merkel. You, you have to yeah, know Can you imagine things. you'll be calling her and saying, Chancellor Merkel, this is to me. Yes. Where's and I have to learn how to speak German uh, so that I can, you know, be exactly. conversational. That's another challenge. Right. But, you know, you're so animated and I can see very confident and uh, already experienced, which I appreciate. But many young women looking at you 
and uh, watching and listening very carefully to what you're saying, I wonder, how do I get myself going like that? If mm. Tumi can do it, obviously the message that must be sent is, so can I, right? Absolutely. So many young people can do that. So what works for you? Up to um, now. I think it's, it's just determination. Yeah. I'm very determined. Um, I'm very willing to make the necessary sacrifices to get to where I need to be. I'm a strong believer of doing what I have to do in order to do what I want to do later on in life. I, I'm, I'm very big on sacrifices. If it means sleepless nights, reading more. If it means um, you know time out, uh, reading more about newspapers, learning more about my craft, investing in my craft, um, you know, as opposed to having a good time. I'm all about that because I know that once I master that my character will be strong and I can be able to do anything else that I put my mind to. Well, South Africa is very proud. One of our exports, our economy may not be doing well the way we want it to, but of course it's got talent yes. that we can export. Everything of the best. Thank look you after so much. yourself. Thank you. And uh, we look forward to your success on the it. global stage. Thank you, Bertin. That's uh, Tumelo Mutotoane, our guest tonight. We're very proud of her and she's now going to join RT, Russia Today television channel, 407. Once she hits the airwaves, we will be switching to 407, but not during our time, okay? So <laughs> she's done very well for herself in a short seven years, and we wish her everything of the best. And that's how we end the show tonight. Good night to you.